Buckingham Palace is home to the Queen of England and to the royal family. In this video, we're going to take a look at the different parts of the palace, where the Queen lives, and the areas you are allowed to go as a tourist. Buckingham Palace is located in Europe. This group of islands is called the United Kingdom, or UK for short. It's made up of England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. Buckingham Palace is in London, which is the capital of England. The palace is surrounded by roads. The Victoria Memorial is right out front. This area is usually quite crowded with tourists. The palace gardens are directly behind the palace. This building here is called the Royal Muse. It's responsible for the travel arrangements for the royal family. Even in modern times, you'll still find plenty of horses there. Buckingham Palace is huge, 775 rooms. This includes over 200 bedrooms, 92 offices, and 78 bathrooms. I imagine it's quite easy to get lost in there. I won't be able to show you what every room is used for. Not everything is publicly available, but we'll do our best here. Let me show you what I can. The palace can be split into a few different parts. This is the east front of the building, the first thing that most people see when visiting Buckingham Palace. This is the Queen's private apartments, and this is the central block of the building. If you take a tour of Buckingham Palace, this is the area that you'll get to see. If you go through any of these archways at the east front of the building, you'll get through to the courtyard in the middle here, also called the quadrangle. Before we start our tour, let's be clear on terminology here. In the United States, we would call this the first floor and the second floor. But here in England, this is the ground floor and this is the first floor. So keep this in mind as we go through each part of the building. We're going to start by going through this entrance here. The first room you'll see is called the Grand Entrance, designed to impress guests as they enter the palace. This is the Marble Hall and the Bow Room. Guests will pass through here to get to the garden parties. Now if we go this way, you'll walk towards the Grand Staircase. These stairs go from the ground floor up to the first floor. This is the green drawing room. Many of the walls and furniture are actually green. It serves as a waiting room before entering the throne room. Notice the two chairs here. The queen will sit on the left and the duke will sit on the right. This hallway is the picture gallery. Lots of expensive and antique artwork here. This is the white drawing room, another room for small gatherings. The queen can enter this room from a secret door in the wall here. It's disguised as a mirror. The music room, which of course has a nice grand piano, and next here is the blue drawing room. The state dining room and the east and west galleries are here. And this large room is the ballroom. Many fancy dinner parties are held here with close to 200 guests in attendance. The ball supper room is used for smaller gatherings. There's also a large kitchen somewhere below these rooms to supply all the food. This area is the queen's private apartments. This room on the first floor is called the Queen's Study, and members of the royal family live in the surrounding area. As you can imagine, there are no public tours of this area. The front of the palace is mostly what the public sees. When the royal family wants to make a public appearance, such as after a royal wedding, they will do it on this balcony, which is on the first floor. This is known as the center room. We don't know what all these other rooms are used for, but we can guess they are probably offices for many of the staff members that live and work here. This one is called the Chinese Luncheon Room, and this is the Yellow Drawing Room. Buckingham Palace also has a post office, swimming pool, movie theater, and a doctor's office. If I had to guess, I would say most of these are probably in the Queen's apartments. When the Queen is home, you'll see this flag waving in the wind. This is known as the Royal Standard. Now we have to keep the palace safe, so you'll see some of the Queen's guards posted around the palace in a few different places. These guards wear red uniforms with tall and furry black hats. Despite what the public thinks, the Queen's Guard are highly trained and will use force if necessary. It's probably best not to pester them. 